joining us here for our press conference. Virgil, first, uh, what are your initial thoughts having Golden Boy bring you up once again on the big stage at home? Well, first of all, I'm just, uh, I'm very thankful to be fighting back at home again, you know, um, especially after fighting in a bubble where there was no fans. Um, that, that was a, a really cool experience to experience, but uh, I, I found that I, I really love the fans. I enjoy the fans, and uh, what better place I had to fight than in, you know, the DFW. All right, to you, Maurice, you're back home in Dallas. You're going to have your family and friends. What does this mean to you? It, 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 this probably gonna mean everything to me, you know, being home with the fans and way back and see, you know, just a, a good fight like this and way thing, way thing everybody going through. All right, Virgil, how important is this to you? You have a perfect record, 60 to no. Uh, you never say no to a huge test like this, and uh, you know, this is a big priority, a big test for you. What does this mean for you this Saturday? Uh, this means a lot to me. You know, this really does mean a lot. You know. Um, as I said before, I, I asked for this fight uh, at 140 when uh, Hooker was champ. And, you know, he was a good fighter then, and he's a good fighter now. And I only want to fight the best. That's, that's the only way you can be the best. This fight means a lot. Uh, I, uh, I feel very uh, confident. You know, I have the confidence of my promoter behind me and my corner behind me. I've, uh, I had a great cramp, and um, I'm just uh, I'm ready to go. All right, Maurice, you've seen Virgil's. Uh, record 16 wins, 16 knockouts. Do you think his, his skills and power, or do you think it's all matchmaking, as this is his toughest test yet? You know, Virgil, I've been watching him, you know, I support him before we fought, you know, he's from Dallas. But the 16, you know, 16 knockouts don't mean nothing to me until we get in the ring. I mean, it's cute, but we, we're going to see. All right. <laughs> There you go. We got some. We got some words coming out from him. All right, Virgil. Do you feel that your power and size will be too much for Maurice? Well, we're gonna find out on Saturday. Um, I've obviously never been in a ring with him before. Uh, I don't know how he'll take it, but you know, it's not just power and, and all that stuff. My physical attributes. I feel like my best attribute is my thinking, and uh, we're gonna do a lot of that uh, come Saturday. All right, Maurice. Real quick, I, I gotta ask you. You fought the best in the world. You're a former world champion with your experience coming uh, this Saturday to the ring. Do you think you have an advantage with this fight? I really can't say that because I've never been in the ring with him. I mean, come Saturday, we're going to see. You know, I'm just going to go in the ring and do my best and have fun with it. All right, gentlemen, do you have any words for your fans out there? This is a huge Texas shootout. Go ahead. Um, well, you know, this is this is going to be uh, one of the first, if not the first Dallas fight where we've had two world-class fighters. Well, I, if y'all think I'm world-class, that's up to y'all, I guess. But two world-class fighters from Dallas area to uh, to fight in the Dallas area. And I feel like we're, we're going to put on a really good show for you guys. I'm really excited about it. You know, we've trained really hard uh, these past couple months, and uh, I mean, that's really all I can say. I, I hope y'all enjoyed the show. Mo, how about yourself? Man, I'm excited. My team is excited. I worked hard. I mean, them calling me the underdog even pushed me even more. You know, I'm just prepared for this fight. You know, to um, my team, Paulina and Matt, uh, Roy, man, government, a perfect no time to my team, but we ready. All right, gentlemen, what are your predictions for Saturday night? Do you think it might be a knockout, early stoppage, or are we going the distance? Well, I've said it in my past interviews. I don't look for the knockout anymore. Um, you know, obviously, if, uh, if the time comes and, and he gets hurt, then I'm going to go for it. Who wouldn't? And, uh, you know, every fighter wants to get a knockout. But really, I just want to win, and I want to do it in a good fashion. That's, that's all I'm looking for. Mo, how about yourself? Um, I'm going there and just uh, listen to my coaches and uh, follow the game plan. Like, I'm pretty sure if Virgil see a knockout, he'll go for it. If I see a knockout, I'm going to go for it. So it's going to be a good fight. We both come to fight. We both ain't begging down. And we're going to put on for Dallas. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. This is our main event attraction. <laughs> Two Texas fighters going head to head. And it's going to be on. We're going to have our fighters right now go ahead and pose for the cameras and then face off. 
They are friends, but inside the ring Saturday night, it's going to be a different story, I guarantee you. Fireworks are for sure to be happening. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe. All Media New York.